Hello everyone, this is Ernest Gregoire, AA1IK, and I'm doing a project to change the jacks or the access to the 13.8 DC power supply the Radio Shack puts out, and I'm going to install some power pole connectors. You can see in the upper left hand corner that I've marked out where the power pole connectors are going to go. After opening the power supply, I realized that I had more room than I thought, so I'm going to keep the two binding posts and just add the Anderson power poles. The power pole connectors are going to fit just about in here, like this. I'm holding it up with my fingers now, but I'm going to route out this section of uh, metal cabinet with a Dremel tool. As you can see, I've cut out the cabinet and I've installed the power pole connectors. It was a lot more difficult than I thought and the Dremel tool was handy but it didn't do the whole job. I had to use a file and a hacksaw. As you can see by the rounded edge of the connectors here, uh, it didn't fit exactly as I thought it would and I'm going to have to adjust it a little bit. I'm going to move it around a little bit here so you can see it a little bit better. There you go. You can see the rounded edge next to the cigarette lighter connection. And I think this will work out all right. I might have to dress it up a little bit, but I'll do that after I put it back together. The 3 amp power supply job is, is finished. As you can see, I put in the power pole connectors on the left. And in a second here, I'm going to plug in a voltmeter to show you that the voltage is on all of them and uh, I had to adjust the little pot on the inside it was actually reading pretty high so that was a simple job uh, just required the cover on and off again so just hold on for a second here and I'm going to plug in the voltmeter here we are with the power supply reading 13.8 volts just perfect The advantage here is to have power pole connectors, which are very handy for all other ham gear, uh, along with other types of uh, plugs. For instance, the power posts are still there. They still have 13.8 on them, and the cigarette lighter is still there also. Here's another power pole connector that you can put into the cigarette lighter. I'm going to turn it around here so that you can see it. It plugs right in. And as you can see by the little light on the top right there, it's working. So that gives me access to another power pole connector for accessories like a watt meter or something like that. It also comes in handy for personal peripherals. I'll show you in a second. I have a flashlight that I use quite a lot, keep it in my pocket all the time. It's a very powerful little flashlight that is so powerful if I turned it on right now you would not be able to see anything. The uh, camera would just be whited out. So I'm going to turn it on and point it at the power supply that I just did. It'll give you a little idea of how powerful this little thing is. And this is the power supply that powers it, that actually charges the two batteries. They're one, two, three batteries. And I can charge them up with this as well. So this is going to be a, a handy thing for accessories as well as ham radio. I haven't decided exactly where I'm going to use it. Probably on the coffee table upstairs where my QRP station is.